I got like nine questions okay. for you. We're yep. not going to reinvent the wheel here. This be, I'll be honest, you can fire away. I'm, yeah, no, I'm I, you know, I know. I know. Uh, you ready, Joel? Somehow we got to find a way. No matter how many miles it takes. Somehow we got to At the opening press conference, you talked about wanting to bring a championship to Oakland. What's changed in your mind between that day from an evaluation of where the team was to where it is now? I still want to deliver a championship to Oakland. And we may not be in Oakland, but these Oakland Raider fans are going to be with us forever. You know that, Hal. Yeah. I didn't have the, um, I guess, the foresight to know that Khalil Mack was going to hold out and this situation would unfold the way it did. But we have to keep an eye to the future. We've got to do right with these five first-round draft choices that we picked up. The Mack trade shocked the world. It really did. It shocked me. Caught me totally off guard. Were you surprised by the reaction to that trade? Maybe in some some ways. You know, the, the word ramification is, is one word I think everybody has to keep in mind. The ramifications of trading him are going to be big. You know, you're going to take some shots. If you're a fan in Oakland, you just gave away our best player. Well, Leo Mack, to me, is a once-in-a-decade guy. But the ramifications of signing him to that kind of contract would have been very difficult on this franchise. We're not mm -hmm. a finished product yet. And to start your first season uh, in a salary cap position that is really unfavorable would really be tough, I think, for this team. The Cooper trade was less of a shock to me, uh, particularly given what you got back for him. I thought it was a good move. People outside the building's perception was that that's signaling you packing it in <laughs> and we're in full rebuild mode. I ain't packing nothing in. You know, we ain't packing anything in. We're working as hard as we have ever worked. Um, someone makes a phone call to you in the middle of the night and makes you an offer that you think helps this franchise, the Raiders. You mm -hmm. make that move. I hate to say goodbye to Amari Cooper. I didn't take this job with any intention other than coaching Mack and Cooper well, that's and helping the these guys. John, I'm looking at it when you started out. I'm saying to myself, Super Bowl coach, check. Quarterback, check. Number one wide receiver, check. Dominant pass rusher, add some pieces, and we're close. I'm not going to make any excuses. There is a perception out there I know that's negative, and I know I'm a lightning rod right now. We're one and six. Right there, right there! We've made some some moves that perhaps the analysts don't agree with. But there's a lot of people, Howie, too, that call me that think that we're doing the absolute right thing. Yes. And um, who's right? Who's wrong? Who cares? Yeah. Only the future will tell. A little enthusiasm back here for crying out loud. Now, I do know this. I got a cell phone just like you and everybody else. Right. And I get a lot of phone calls from people that are dying to come and play here. I'm just telling you, they're dying to play for the Raiders. Just win, baby.